In another pilot project, what the prospect wanted was the ability to receive alarm messages via SMS. So I used advanced HMI and a service called ClickSend to enable this for the pilot project. Now, when it went on to become a bigger project, I eventually went to an HMI because an advanced HMI, whereas it's free, you had to sort of hard code all the alarms and sort of hard code the messages that would be sent. So that's not really great for a full scale project, but as a pilot, it worked really, really well. So I'm going to show you how to do this at a very low cost using advanced HMI and ClickSend. So let's go. All right. So here's a game plan here. So in the previous two videos, I had started with this here. Um, we have the Mod, Mod Sim Modbus simulator uh, connected to the advanced HMI via Modbus TCP. And this was pulling a single holding register. And we're going to use that scenario again here. So what I'm going to do is actually use a service called ClickSend. Now, ClickSend is a bulk SMS provider. So you can send SMS blasts with ClickSend. There are many of them on the net. There's bulk SMS, et cetera, and so on. The great thing about these services is that you're able to um, see delivery status. You're able to, it logs all of the SMS messages sent. So it's, it's, uh, these are really great services to have. And ClickSend will then send the SMS to my phone. And how I'm going to do that, how I'm going to send this message here is I'm going to use a data subscriber like I did in the last video, data subscriber in advanced HMI as a control that just reads the value and triggers an event on a data change to send an SMS. And it's going to take place via an HTTP post. Uh, we used the HTTP post in the previous video um, when we dealt with uh, Freeboard.io and Dweet.io. So it's a similar sort of game we're playing here. All right, so this is the plan and let's see what it looks like live. All right, so let's implement this now. I have my mod sim, mod bus simulator running here as in the previous two videos, uh, 40,001, very first uh, holding register with a value of 1000 there. I'm not doing random simulation, this I'm doing manual simulation, right? So I fix it at 100 and I have my interface here right there. Now I have this data subscriber control. If I double click on it, I go to the data subscriber data change event. In other words, this data subscriber has been programmed to read 40,001 right here. And it'll constantly read it. And if there's a change in, date, in the data, then this event will fire here. Now, what do we put in here? We have to put all this stuff that will send our SMS message out. So I'm going to do some cutting and pasting, copy, Right. Okay. So let me explain what all this junk is. Um, so we have some uh, variables that I declared here and the variable val holds the value from the holding register data subscriber one dot value. And I'm building a text message here. So if, if the, I want, so if the value getting from the holding register is greater than a thousand, we need to send an alarm message and I'm making something up. I'm saying, well, number four, high casing pressure, and val string puts the value of the high casing pressure and in PSI, all right? So that's our text message to be sent. And it says, if the val is greater than 1000, do this stuff here. Let me show you what this stuff is. Now to send a text message via click send, so you have this, uh, let me show you what it looks like from the documentation right here. So you do an HTTP request and then you have this URL here and these are the parameters, uh, the arguments in the URL method HTTP. You need a username, you need a key, you need two, this is the phone number and the message that you're going to send. Just those four components you need. Now the in click send my account or click send, you have to buy credits to charge up your account because obviously SMS costs something um, in the pilot project that we did for the client, they paid for this part of it. So because it was a small cost, right? And it was a small pilot. So um, in ClickSend, you can get my username is Iakbarali and this API key right here, right? That That's from my account. So what I'm doing right here is I'm building the URL and I have my username here, my key right here. And then this is my phone number of my test phone. Right. And then the text message, I said message equal ampersand text message. I'm taking this string here. Well, for casing, high casing pressure and putting it at the end as our message. So that's my full URL. And this here uses the web client control to actually send it up to click send. Good. So let me save that and let's run it now. And I'm going to run that like that. 
and it's getting the value of 100. And now let me bring up my phone interface and let's trigger it and see that SMS, SMS message come through. All right, let me bring up my phone interface here now. There we go, that's my phone interface. And let me go to messages. I have no messages right now. And now I will go to bring up this, this, and change this to 2000 or 2100 PSI update. And this should update now and actually send um, a message. And we'll see that happen right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my phone interface. Oh, there we go, message is already there. So I can double click on that and it says, um, well, number four, high casing pressure, 2100 PSI. So we've done it. So um, since, this went, since this went up to above 1000, it sent an SMS message via click send. Now, obviously this function is a little bit oversimplified because what you would need to do is save the state of the alarm and then bring it out of alarm when it goes back down 1000 and so on. But it's a quick video. I just wanted to show you the capability of advanced HMI. Again, advanced HMI is free and it can do so many different things because it's .NET. And, and that's, this is what we did for this pilot. Okay, thanks.